guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're kicking off the two-part Halloween series. I'm doing Fire and Ice Queen. I came up with these ideas because I was sent this really cool gray wig from Everyday Wigs, which I am obsessed with. And I was trying to rack my brain what makeup look I was going to do with it. And then Halloween was coming up and... I wanted to do some Halloween costume idea that wasn't really difficult because I feel like a lot of people, including myself, will search the web for Halloween ideas and if something is too crazy, then it might miss the mark. So I wanted to do something that was easy, super glam, anybody can do it, and I made it a point to not buy anything outside of the makeup that I already have. So really this look is achievable by anybody and I don't know I think it's kind of fun if you are feeling like you want to be ice queen rock this ice queen but if you're a little more fiery look out for my next video because that one is going to be the fire queen but in the meantime if you want to learn how to get this ice queen makeup look then keep on watching I'm starting out with my skin already primed and my foundation already on. I'm using Juice Beauty Primer with the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Illumination Foundation. And for concealer, I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which is my current favorite. And then I'm going to blend that out with the Beauty Blender. I chose to do a lighter shade of foundation than my skin tone because I'm going for that Ice Queen look. So I wanted my face to be a little whited out. Not terribly white but whiter than my normal skin tone so after I apply this to the normal places that I'm applying concealer I'm just blending it out with a beauty blender and really my skin prep is the same as I would do any makeup look I'm gonna go in and set this with the RCMA no color powder and I'm really focusing on some serious glow with this look it's Halloween you can really play and have fun so I'm going to go in with my Pure Cosmetics Highlight and Strobe Palette. That's not really the name, but I'll have it in the description box. This one is in the shade Midnight Glow, I believe. I don't even know. I'm botching it. It will be down in the description box. But I'm applying the contour shade on my cheeks and around my hairline. And then I'm taking the highlight shade and I'm applying that just on the high points of my face. This is going to be a, a base for our highlight, but I'm gonna pour a lot more on top later. Now I'm gonna set the skin with my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder. I'm using the shade six, which is cashmere. This is a lot lighter than my skin tone. But again, I wanna keep it very pale. And with my IT Cosmetics Sculpt Palette, I'm going in with the light contour shade and I'm going to just softly contour my face, chisel out those cheekbones, and then I'm going to move on to my eyes. I'm using my MAC Soft Ochre on my lids and I'm just applying that with my finger. Of course, I'm going to set that and I'm going to start with one eye already done in the interest of time so this video isn't super long. So there we go. That's what the finished look is going to look like. And we are going to go in with this L'Oreal Quad. I believe it's called French Biscuit. That will also be down below. And this is a nice neutral shade I'm using for my transition shade. And I'm using my Zoeva 228 brush to just put this in the crease. Now I'm going into this blue palette. And I'm taking the first shade and I'm just going directly over the transition shade with the same exact brush. And I'm going to go pretty high with it because I really want to, it to peek out because we're going to just layer these blue shades one on top of the other. The next shade is this bright blue shade and I'm going in with a smaller brush and I'm just going to place that into the crease below the shade that we just did and this you can see is much brighter and I'm going to start dragging it out kind of like a wing so that it'll be a little bit more dramatic because we're the ice queen. Next I'm going to go in with the shimmery shade in the palette and I'm taking a duo fiber brush and I'm just going to go over lightly 
what we just did in that crease just to add a little bit of shimmer which you normally wouldn't do but since it's Halloween we're breaking some rules here and then next with the darkest shade in the palette I'm taking a pointier brush and I'm going to start by applying that on the outer V of the lid and I'm going to build that color up and gently just drag it up into the crease as I'm blending this is going to give a little bit of definition a little bit of drama and then I'm taking a fatter fluffier brush and I'm just gonna go over that and sort of blend it out as I go next for one of my favorite things in this look is the Mac pigment in vanilla I'm going to apply that onto my brow bone I'm gonna be using this for a lot of different things in this look because it has this nice iridescent finish that might not really show up on camera that well, but in person, it's amazing. So next, I'm going in with the next quad. I think I used four total quads or three total quads in this look. I'm taking this silvery shade and I'm applying it with my finger directly onto the lid. These colors are very pigmented in these L'Oreal palettes, you guys, like really amazing. And now I'm going in with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance with a brush, and I got a little sloppy with it, but that's okay. We're going to clean it all up, and I'm prepping for the glitter. I am using this gorgeous Violet Voss glitter. I believe it's called Champagne Kisses, but I'll have it in the description box. It's like confetti on the lids. It's so beautiful. But with the silver we have underneath, it's going to pull more silver and that's what we want. We want it icy and shimmery and sparkly and beautiful. So I'm just kind of applying that with my brush. And then I'm going to go in with the crease brush I was using earlier. And I'm just going to make sure that no glitter got up into the crease and that looks defined still. And now it is time for the wing. I'm using my Tried and True Inglot 77 Gel Liner and my Zoeva Angle Brush, and I'm just going to wing it out, and I'm just getting real crazy with it. No, I'm not really getting that crazy with it. I'm making a pretty dramatic wing, but nothing I wouldn't make on any other glam makeup look. This look, I really wanted it to just be like a super glam look, but like a take on Halloween. But really, this is an eye look that you really could wear out if you wanted to. So now I'm going in with the Pure Double Ego Liner in this teal shade. And I'm going to create a double wing right below the black wing. And then I'm going to basically trace all above the top liner. I just thought this added something extra to it. I just liked the way this looked. So I went with it. And then I decided to apply glitter all along the lower lash line. I did apply glitter glue first, which I didn't have footage of for some reason. I'm not sure why. But I'm taking that same concealer brush and I'm just applying it right along the lower lash line and into the inner tear duct. Of my eye and then for lashes I'm using these by Violet Voss they will be listed in the description box down below and I'm just popping those on with my tweezer per usual and then I'm going to go over the lash band with a little bit more of that gel liner just to hide it for the waterline, I'm going in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk to really make the eyes pop. This is a stark white pencil, and I love how it made the eyes pop. For mascara, I'm going in with this mascara by Pixie, and I'm just blending my lashes with the falsies and then popping a coat onto my lower lashes. I decided I really needed my brows to be muted out, so I went in with this... Sigma highlighting pencil and I'm just basically going over my brows I'm putting an entire layer of this white shade and then I went over that with the other side which is a more shimmery shade this is a brow pencil by the way but 
it really did a good job in whiting out my brows. I know a lot of makeup artists would use paint for this and maybe even tape or glue, but I didn't want to get crazy with it. This is something you can just do super easy at home. Pop on some brow pencil and you're good to go. And then with my finger, I'm actually taking that MAC Vanilla pigment and I'm going right over the pencil. Because the pencil is a little waxy, it's a little sticky, so the pigment just sticks on perfectly. And then your brows have a little bit of shimmer to them, which I thought was kind of a nice touch. I went in with this um, brush and I just started packing it on even more because I wanted it to be even more dramatic. For blush, I'm taking this pink shade from Becca. This is one of their luminous blushes and popping it on the cheeks ever so slightly because we're the ice queen, we don't want too much color. And then I'm taking that vanilla pigment again and I'm going to actually use this as a highlight. So I'm popping this on my cheekbones and then all the normal places that I would highlight. And after I'm done with that, I am going to go in with a second highlight. This look is all about the glow. So the second highlight is a Sigma highlight. It's one of their loose shimmers. And I'm just literally piling this right on top. And I believe the shade is called Ravishing. And it's an icier, cool toned highlight. Not something I usually use, but I just piled it on. I also put it in the inner sides of my nose where I always put highlight and on my cupid's bow. For lips, we're doing a bold, dramatic blue lip, but I didn't have a blue lip liner, so I decided to go in with this Aqua XL eyeliner from Makeup Forever to line my lips. And it actually worked out just fine. It works as a lip liner and it stays put and it matched the lipstick perfectly. And the lip color is also from Makeup Forever. It is one of the Artist Rouge shades. The shade will be listed down below. I actually did an entire video reviewing these lip colors and I mentioned in that video that I was going to try to incorporate this into my Halloween look. And I did it! And I love it. And I think that this is the perfect shade for an ice queen. Last but not least, we gotta lock all of our hard work in place with the NYX Matte Finishing Spray. This is my favorite and it works. It will make your makeup stay put all night long. So that is the look. Now we gotta put on the wig and this is that great ombre wig I am obsessed with. So that is it for the finished look. I'm really loving how it came out. I'm loving this wig. I'm going to leave the information for this wig in the description box down below. I have a discount code for you guys, so if you're interested in picking this up, it's so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget that my Fire Queen video will be out shortly, so keep an eye out for that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on social. I am on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. My handle is at Glam Latte. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!